Hey guys, uh, so that hike went pretty well yesterday. Um, I did suffer a little bit of chafing in places I'd rather not explain. Um, so it's Sunday now and uh, I'm recovering. I feel pretty good. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to try and use the cooking equipment and fuel, fuel that, I, uh, that I bought for this camping trip. So uh, I have my um, little twig burner and I have some alcohol tablets. So I'm gonna try and make Sunday's breakfast on uh, the camping stuff. So here we go. I am using these uh, Esbit fuel canisters or fuel tablets. They're supposed to run for I'm supposed to boil water in eight minutes, and they burn for about twelve minutes. So. Uh, I don't know what one pint of water is. I've got like a little less than a liter in there. Today's breakfast is going to be brought to you by Quaker. We're gonna have maple and brown sugar protein oatmeal. Hmm. Check in on this. And there is steam. I don't know if you can see the steam, but there is steam. So we're just about at the end of the second fuel queue and we have what looks like a rolling boil in spots. This is what I'm left over with after doing all that cooking. The little alcohol tray is fairly clean, I guess. There's a little bit of residue in there, but not much. And it's cool before I'm even finished my coffee, so that's good. Just packing up all my stuff here, and I noticed that there's a lot of soot left on the bottom of the cooking pot. Not a big deal, but something to consider. Well, that certainly took a lot longer than I had hoped it would take. I definitely made more water than I needed to. Top. I only needed about half the water, I think. Coffee's hot too. I don't think I would have been able to purify water at all. So it's a good thing other people on the trip have um, have things to do that with. So anyway, that's making breakfast. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you'd like. And um, I'll make a video about our hike for sure. Mm -hmm.